Ms. Chapman, Chapin, when you first got to the Parks House on August 18th, uh, you saw Jesse Duran? That's right, she that house. Jesse Duran looked expressionless to you? Yes, very emotionless. She wasn't crying or anything. And this was at 9.53? Around there, I believe, is when I got into that. And the only explanation that you could come to is that Jesse must be in shock. Yeah, I thought maybe she was in shock, um, but it was really strange. She was Almost shaped the only explanation that you could think of was that she must be in shock. Objection, Your Honor. What is your objection? Speculation. My witness is not trained in medical procedures in any way, shape, or form and not properly trained to identify shock. Response. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, this witness has already testified for what she uh, thought uh, Jesse appeared to look like, and I'm just further having her explain that. Anything further? Your Honor, I ask that if this testimony is allowed in, you place a limiting instruction informing the jury that Ms. Chapin is not trained in any form of medical procedures to identify shock. That's the call. Well, if that is a limiting instruction, that should also be a limiting instruction that this witness is not uh, trained to identify any type of emotion. Of All right, this, this is a matter for cross-examination. I'm going to allow it to as far as what this witness may or may not know. Um, so I'm going to overrule your objection, uh, Mr. Peasley, and yes, you're going to proceed, Mr. Sanders. Thank you. So Ms. Chapin, the only conclusion that you could come to, or the only uh, explanation for Jesse's appearance was that she must be in shock. At first, yes. Now, uh, you asked Jesse a couple of questions. Yes, I did. And within the span that you were talking to Jesse, she began to cry. Yes, at the very end, after I asked her a bunch of questions. After uh, she began to cry, you heard sirens outside? Yes, I did. And this was at 9.54 a.m.? So you spent a total of one minute talking to her. <coughs> yes, I did. And within that minute, I, I asked her a bunch of questions. And within that minute, Jesse broke down and began to cry. At the end, yes. Now, you were out drinking the night before, correct? That's right. I'm over The night of August 17th? Yes. And in the morning of August 18th, you were quite hungover. A little bit at, at first, but I, I woke up especially. When you went over to the park's house, you were blurry-eyed. A little bit. That all passed. And you were nauseated? Yeah, and I saw a lot of blood things that were standing. And that was because you'd only had three hours of sleep? Around there, yeah. And when you called 911, you had to assure the 911 operator that you knew what you had heard and saw. Of course. She asked me if I was intoxicated, and I said, absolutely not, especially when I told her there was a girl bleeding on the floor. And you had to assure her because you sounded intoxicated on the phone. I, I guess so. She asked me, but I also had a cold at that time. So I to and later that morning, when you, were in, when you were interviewed by police officers, you also had to assure them that you were not intoxicated at that time. Absolutely. I, I wasn't at all. But you appeared to be to them. I don't know how I appeared to be to them. Thank you. Don't put it Thank you, Mr. Any uh, 